Last week, at the first Democratic debate for the 2016 presidential nomination, Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders discussed cannabis legalization. As expected, Sanders took the more progressive stance. With the debate taking place in Las Vegas, Sanders was asked if he was a Nevada resident, would he vote to legalize cannabis? A question that will be posed to citizens of the state next year. He said he suspects that he would vote yes. Sanders then explained his position, saying, and I would vote yes because I'm seeing in this country too many lives being destroyed for nonviolent offenses. We have a criminal justice system that lets CEOs on Wall Street walk away, and yet we are imprisoning young people who are smoking marijuana. I think we have to think through this war on drugs, which has done an enormous amount of damage. We need to rethink our criminal justice system and we've got a lot of work to do in that area. When asked if she was ready to take a position on cannabis legalization, Clinton said no. She said, I think that we have the opportunity through the states that are pursuing recreational marijuana to find out a lot more than we know today. I do support the use of medical marijuana, and I think even there, we need to do a lot more research so that we know exactly how we're going to help people for whom medical marijuana provides relief. She added that we're just at the beginning, but I agree completely with the idea that we have to stop imprisoning people who use marijuana. Therefore, we need more states, cities, and the federal government to begin to address this so that we don't have this terrible result that Senator Sanders was talking about, where we have a huge population in our prisons for nonviolent, low-level offenses that are primarily due to marijuana. So while Sanders won't say flat out that cannabis should be federally legal, he appears more open to the idea than Clinton, who still claims to need more information to make a decision. But with a year to go before the election, there's still plenty of time for the candidates to be grilled about cannabis. If proponents of cannabis legalization want their favorite candidate to support pot law reform, now is the time to be heard.